We haven't been able to go to the beach lately, so we thought we'd make a little video on fossil preparation. We're going to start by showing a fossil crinoid, or crinoid, depending how you pronounce it, fossil that we found in the past few months, and show the process of preparing that from start to finish. And also, we're going to have a look at some of our favourite fossils, which start off pretty grey and dull, and then, when they're prepared, end up being really golden and shiny, and a lot more exciting. So. That's what this video is going to be about, so I hope you enjoy. It's quite difficult to see the specimen in this slab of shale. You can see a little bit of it. Essentially, all of these pieces of shale will fit together. It'll take quite a few hours, but we'll be able to reveal a little bit of this within the video today. Hopefully, when we start to prepare it there should be a lot of pretty intricate detail there's already a lot showing now that was one of the unprepared crinoid blocks and we have prepared one in the past and we've got one here to have a little look at we prepared this a few years ago and the detail is absolutely stunning it's actually got a little ammonite fossilized alongside it and also another one over here and if you just uh, zoom in there, the, this ammonite actually has little spikes or little nodes around the edge. So I haven't identified what species that is just yet, but that's definitely something I need to do. But the overall detail of this specimen is it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. And also, we found in the past some ammonite deathbeds with lots of pyritic ammonites, so they look very golden. We've also got one here. So many ammonites. I've not counted how many there are, but as you can tell, there's an absolute abundance of them. The next thing for us to do now is to glue together the shale pieces we looked at earlier with the crinoid in. Then once it's glued together, we'll be able to start making some progress on the preparation. Just started piecing it together. It's quite difficult to make it all glue together when it's just pretty straight edges.
Dad's just finished polishing this specimen. It's absolutely beautiful, like a golden mirror. Next thing to do is to prepare the ammonites on the inside. So he's going to get that done now.